Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna take a look at a brand new song by Hillsong United called No You Will. This song was released, I believe, last Friday it's great, I love it. So just like normal, I'll show you how to play it on acoustic guitar. We'll talk about how you can lead it with your worship team and your congregation, and then a couple of scriptures that'll go really well with it. So let's dive in. And before we get started, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy this content. It would really help me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you wanna see more content just like this, focusing on worship ministry stuff, worship tutorials, all that good stuff. And let me say a couple other things. I'm also on TikTok. You can hit the link in the description box below. I do covers over, 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 on, there, over on that platform. Uh, make sure you go check that out if you're on TikTok. And then also today, again, if you haven't seen my previous video, I'm gonna pop it up right here. Uh, I did a Worship Guitar for Beginners course. It's on sale again today for $12.99. There's like 10 hours left, something like that. So if that's something you're interested in or you know somebody that wants to learn how to play the acoustic guitar and learn worship music too, send them this link, send, the, uh, send them the link down in the description box below, uh, send it to them, send it their way and take advantage of that. So that's, uh, that's all that stuff. Let's, let's actually dive into the video. All right, so first and foremost, this song is in the key of E. E is a very high key, I think, for a lot of males. It is a male-led song. Of course, Taya Smith, she's in the background there too, doing a beautiful job. I love Hillsong United. They always implement a lot of vocal uh, vocalists on, there's several vocalists in that team, and they, they pretty much, I think, all sing on every, every song whether that's someone's one person's leading it and then everybody else is just background. And I think that's what they did here, but it's super high. And so I would probably, if I was leading this song, would probably do it in D instead of E. And yeah, cause it's kinda, it kinda, it kinda gets up there. But for the sake of actually learning uh, the song based on how they created it, how they released it, we're gonna keep it in the key of E. So jumping into the intro, it's only two chords. It's gonna be the six minor and the one. Six minor in the key of E is C sharp minor. And the one is going to be E, okay? Now they, uh, it, it's there's like this little intro that's not really got any kind of time to it. It's kind of a flowy intro and then they jump in. There's a, an electric guitar that's playing. I think he comes in on like the three of the, the bar before the downbeat of the first bar, if that makes sense. But then they, they jump straight into uh, that intro um, with the six minor and it's a full bar of the six minor. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then that just repeats. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? Now, if you're playing this, if you're like leading this uh, with your congregation, with your worship team, um, I would I would assume your electric guitar is probably going to try to learn that part. I don't know what that part is, but just as an acoustic guitar player, if you want to just keep it simple and not do any strumming, especially on that intro and first verse, you might not even be playing. Uh, that's probably what I would keep it at. Um, I probably wouldn't do any rhythmic strumming until that first chorus, because that first chorus comes in pretty, uh, pretty big, and so I would leave the dynamic strumming for there. But that's the intro, just two chords repeated twice, six minor and the one. Uh, verse number one is gonna be the exact same thing. It's just six minor to one, six minor to one. Uh, all of that gets a full bar, you'll see it up here. And then they just repeat that. So it would just be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right, so that's that progression, and then that just repeats. Now, just for the sake of this tutorial and you hearing those chords and seeing those chords, I am playing just a little bit more rhythmically. I, like I said, I probably wouldn't play it that way if I was playing with a band. Um, if I was playing by myself, yes, I would definitely be even more rhythmic, maybe even just finger picking. Just like that. And all I'm playing is the A string and then the, the G and the B string. Right? You can kind of mess around with that. Just find whatever works best for you. But that's verse one. Uh, very simple. 
Uh, after that, they're gonna jump into the first chorus. I'll say that this chorus is the only chorus. There's not like a chorus two with different chords. This is one chorus, one chorus only, and then they just repeat it. So uh, this, this chorus is going to be, we're gonna have a couple of split, uh, split bars here. It's gonna start off with the six minor, and then to the four, and one. Okay, that six minor is gonna get three beats, the four is gonna get one, and then the one chord is going to get a full bar. So the count would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Strumming pattern, you know, again, just a lot of up downs. Or, uh, it's pretty simple, just straightforward like that, just a lot of up down rhythmic strumming. Um, after that, they're gonna repeat that same line, six minor, four, and one. The third line, it's gonna be six minor to the five, to the four, and then the one, okay? So six minor, C sharp minor, uh, the five is B, four is A, one is E, and you'll see that up under the up under here where there's the, the numbers, and you'll see the letters underneath that too. Uh, so they'll do that line, and then the final uh, line of the chorus is six minor, four, and one. So all together, this is how the chorus is played. So it would be a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then we repeat that. Six minor, five, four, one. Okay, so that's the chorus. Let me also say, I didn't say this a while ago, that on that third line, the six minor to the five, four, and one, basically just that walk down. Um, as I said, the five chord is gonna get one beat. When we go to the four chord, and the one, that bar is split evenly. So the four gets two beats, the one gets two beats as well. So again, that third line, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, just like that. After that, there is no turnaround, no intro. It just jumps into verse number two. Verse number two is similar to the chorus uh, where we had the six minor, four, and one. Um, it's that. It's gonna be that four times, just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They're gonna play that progression uh, four different times, and then after that, they will jump into the chorus again. Uh, like I said, nothing changes in this chorus, this repeated chorus, it's all the same. Um, the chorus doesn't, doesn't repeat, it jumps into the first bridge. Well, actually the only bridge, there's only one bridge. This is just a simple straight up CCM pop song that it could be on the radio because it's only three and a half minutes. It's not your typical like Maverick City song that goes on for like 15 minutes or even some of Hillsong's older stuff like even Oceans, like Oceans was like 10 minutes. Um, it's just it's three and a half minutes somewhere around that ballpark and you know it makes you want to listen to it again if that makes sense. So anyways, uh, bridge number one, it's going to be uh, four, five, six minor, five okay that's going to be that first line um so basically the five each time is only going to get one beat so you'll see them in parentheses here it's going to be one two three four one two three four okay so that's going to be that first line those first two bars um after that five we'll go to the one chord which is e and that'll get a full bar after that, we're gonna go to a G sharp minor. That's the three chord, you'll see that up here. That's the three chord in the key of E, G sharp minor. Just like that. Um, and so what we'll do, that'll, that'll be a full bar as well. So it'd be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then all of that just repeats. Let me play through that. One, two, three, four. One, Just repeats. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. G 
G-sharp minor. And then from there, they jump back into the chorus. Again, the chorus is going to be played through just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. For the ending, there is, uh, it's like, I don't, I don't remember how the, the melody goes, but it just hangs out on the one there. It's just another bar of the one. So that's it. That's how you play No You Will on acoustic guitar. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hit me up on Instagram as well, and we can chat about it. I'd love to be able to help you. If you're getting value out of this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to do that. Uh, but don't go anywhere just yet. Let's dive into the next portion of this video. Okay, so talking about how to lead this song. So I really love this song. I think it's awesome. I love the progression of it, especially the chorus. I love the chorus lyrics. I don't know how you'll make a way, but I know you will. I don't know how you make a way, but I know you will, right? That's just, it's just a good, a good line. You've been good on every promise from Eden to Zion through every dead end and out of that grave. I don't know how you'll make a way, but I know you will. I love the the biblical sim, not symbolism, but like how they t they can tell a story in the song through scripture. Even even the bridge, you pulled my heart from Egypt. You carved a road through sea from all our chains to endless praise. The story ends in you. I think that's awesome. I think that's really poetic, and I think interpretation wise, you can take it as you know as God was able to to bring His people out of Egypt and make a way for them to cross the Jordan or not the Jordan uh, the Red Sea. Um, to get away from Pharaoh and his army. Similarly, the Lord has made a way for us to be able to come to him, um, parting the Red Sea, the impossible, the miraculous, being able to, to, to make a way through Christ for us to have a relationship with him. I think that that ties in really well. So just all in all, I think it's a really good song. Um, again, I probably would not do this in the original key. I would definitely do it in D. And you know, that, that could be some of that I would encourage you to be able to share with your, your worship team and your church at any given time um, and even bring up the story of Moses and, and bring up how Lord the Lord was able to to pull his people out of that circumstance and, and rescue them for a lack of a better term, I guess. And, and the premise of that is that, that God will make a way. If you've never heard that song, God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Uh, he works in ways we cannot see. Uh, he will make a way for me or for the, I can't remember how it goes. We used to sing that in my church growing up, but he's faithful and he's been good on every promise. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that's, I hope that's encouraging to you. And uh, there's something in there you'd be able to kind of latch onto and make it your own as you can share it with your worship team and congregation. Scripture wise, Isaiah 43, I want to uh, share with you verse 16, I think. Um, yeah, verse 16, it says, thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea a path in the mighty waters, who brings forth chariot and horse, army and warrior. They lie down, they cannot rise, they are extinguished, quenched like a wick. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And I think you could probably go on if you want to check out that scripture passage, Isaiah 43. Hopefully that makes sense. I hope that that, that passage encourages you as well. Um, but that's everything that I have for this video, and I, I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, again, please hit me up. Please don't hesitate to message me or comment below. And thank you guys again so much for watching. Be sure to check out that course down below if that's something you're interested in or know someone that is. I would really appreciate that. But other than that, again, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.